Um, hello everyone. It's time for Dominion League. Season 41, I think. One of these days I'll actually, um, one of these days I'll actually get a, a, uh, a like list. Um, but today is not that day. Alright, is there anything else I need to do here? Um... Let me just make sure things are working. Uh, yeah, okay, looks, looks fine. Let's go! All right, I need some wins. Some wins with a capital Z. All right, I'm going first on this board that has no trashing and a cultist, so... Okay, sure. I guess that's where we're starting. Um, Guild Hall. Groom. Groom Guildhall. Groom Guildhall. Groom gains two silvers. Interesting. Um. Is that a thing? Groom Guildhall? Is that like a, th a thing that can that can happen? I mean the board has no has no plus buy, right? That's really interesting. It has no plus buy. Um, huh. And I could just like flood with silvers and sort of overcome. Like I could just try to get past all the, the ruins. Is that doable? You can also groom for silvers and then buy like Destriers too, because it'd be pretty cheap. Well, I'm always, I'm always looking at silver, right? Like, I don't think I'm ever not taking silver open here. Um, I'm quite tempted by skipping cultist and just going for like this groom, this groom guild hall looking thing with destrier support. Do I open groom? I could open double silver. That might be better than groom. Um, oh man, let's do it. Let's try it. Uh, this turn is actually fine, I think, right? Because I want to hit five, and this turn makes it pretty likely I hit five next turn. All right, this will be a guild hall. And now what? Do I want like, just one more groom? Now this, well, you can't like, oh, you can overload on grooms a bit too much, actually. Um, well, my grooms might, I could take him in right now. That's not crazy. Just try to force myself to get some groom plays this turn. So I'm ahead um, mainly by having what looks like better draws. I don't know. He opened double silver. So opening groom silver is probably not super duper likely to hit uh, fives, but you know, I did. So that's pretty helpful. Um, playing the horse here. Oh, that's really annoying. That's quite annoying, but fine. Um, and with four here, I'll take like. I, mean, I could take like another groom. I could get Destrier now. It's probably fine too. I could also just like, just silver or something. Let's get a third groom. Uh, that was really unfortunate to have those collide with the, without the end. And I'll just start doing stuff like this. Um, I mean, I could take. I'll just get Destrier. It's fine. Like, do I start provincing already? He's not... Well, Mountain Pass kind of makes me want to province pretty pretty soon here, right? Like, my Mountain Pass? Um, like, I have a lot more economy than he does, so I'm going to do this. I think that's re reasonable for me to do. Force him to figure out what to do with Mountain Pass. Because I think I can bid higher than him and be happy about it. Or stick him with a lot of debt and then be happy about it.
Hmm. Do I want to bid 14? Probably fine, right? I'll just, like, start doing some stuff. I mean, deck's going to be pretty heavy, silver heavy, so I don't think this chariot races hit that much in a deck like this. Um, I think getting more silvers, I guess, is fine. Pay off some debt. You got some guides. You can you can get around to the you know your good cards relatively fast. You can put some ruins in my deck, which is a little annoying. But I should be like fairly silver heavy. Like just take more of these, pay off six debt. Um, no reason to pay off that. <laughs> should I buy like another groom here? Maybe. No, he does go ahead and. Scores another point off that, unfortunate. I could take another Groom. I could take an In. Wait, what's down there? What did I play this shuffle? Let me double check. When did I shuffle? Um, when did I shuffle? Hold on. No. No. Wait, I bought the Province. Why is it not showing the shuffle? I, have this, I see the province right here. Hold on. What the heck? I don't see the shuffle in the log. Oh, he, he forced my... I'm looking... It's, it's shuffling his turn. Okay. So... Uh, there's one groom. Two groom plays. Three groom plays. Eh. Pay off some debt. I'm just gonna pick one more groom. And like here I won't even I won't bother this shuffle here, right? I'll just province again. Groom some silvers, pick up a province. I guess province? Sure. And hopefully I just province every turn from here on out. Um, I might miss one turn, maybe. I might have too many grooms. Like, if my grooms collide awkwardly, that might not be super great. But I have a good point lead. I guess, no, I have estates. Remember, my grooms can collide. I'll just gain estates with them. It's fine. At least he takes all the estates, which would be very rude. Um, like, here's a province. He's taking an in. Um, I don't know, the in lets him get, like, maybe a couple extra estates off. But I'm not super concerned with that, I don't think. Um, Silvers, right? Yeah. Um, this is not quite a province, but I guess it's a duchy. It calls me duchy estate. Um, mm. nah. I'll just. I don't mean. I, I want to just take the last province, right? I don't, I don't think it needs to go longer than it has to. So if he wants, like, province here. Man, he's drawing pretty well. Like, not super duper well, but pretty well. Man, that's not good. Groom, I mean, I guess it's still silvers, right? Just stockpile some more coffers. Uh, take a duchy. Ah, shoot. Stay on top is really bad. Um. Well, I do have a province in hand, which is the important thing. Stay on top is really annoying, though. 
Who doesn't take the rest? Don't take, like, the rest of the... Don't take the rest of the estates, please. Thank you. I mean, he, like, has to province. Like, he has to hope I can't province, but it's not... I'm not sure how likely it is I don't province. This game ended up pretty close. I'm not sure if what I'm doing is the best, but um, I think it's working out all right. I mean, you could, have, could definitely build more than just, like, grooms and guild halls, right? Well, he's gonna make the game go longer if he can, but I'm not super concerned about that. I mean, I'll take the silvers here, right? Give, give him the, uh, give him the estate. Um, I mean, I don't have to take this province. Is there a reason not to take the province? I don't see any reason not to take the province. Alright, this looks like a good turn here. Uh, should be the last province. And that is enough. Cool. One game. That's a quick one, too. I like quick games. Uh, so that was my first player, right? Yeah. I could definitely be sold that my plan wasn't the best thing to do there, but it just all seemed so weak that it seemed worth a shot, at least. And it did work out, and I think I drew reasonably well, so... You know. Motorcycle. How's it going? Um, this board has no plus buy. Is that right? Desperation. I mean, are any of those five costs worth... Like, are, are, how should I phrase this? Um, do you really desperately need one of those five costs? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think you do. This looks like some variant on Jack Money, right? I don't see, um, there's no plus buy. You got the Relic attack, you got the Werewolf attack, so you can do like a little bit with that, but, um, uh, I mean, silver heavy decks don't really like Relic attack at all. Um, it's actually quite brutal. So unless you happen to draw the Jack at the right time, I think you still want the jack, though, right? Like, I don't see any reason you wouldn't want a jack. Of all trades on this board. So I'll at least get a jack, but I'll probably build... I don't know. I'll probably build with some werewolves and some relics as well. Um, <clears throat> I think Desperation probably helps the money deck. Well, this is all money. What am I saying? It, it, there is no deck here that's not a money deck. 5-2. The 5 2 split seems worse to me, I think. Um, I mean, you can always, like, desperation for, like, a 4 5 open, which is probably not that great. Um, I mean, I might open, like. You could open Relic. It's not the craziest thing in the world, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I might still open. I think on the 5 2, I might still open Jack. Like, Jack and, Jack and Pass. Maybe double, um, maybe double jack with desperation is better than jack nothing. I don't know, the 5-2 is really tricky. I don't like it. Um, I'm glad to be on the 4-3 split here, I believe. I will take the jack, though. I don't think the werewolf open is doing much. Then again, I don't, no, no, I don't, I think jack was probably the better open still. He will desperation with the jack, though, which is, it's fine. I'll take the silver open here. All right, draw jack turn three, which is nice to see. Um, curse to, copper to curse is not all that problematic. Oh, this is interesting. Um, do I, wait, so what's in the last five cards here? Um, what did he toss, a copper? So that's a four, that's four coppers in the state, right? Um, Cause I can discard this silver and then trigger the shuffle, which seems pretty good to me? Like, get the jack back in this shuffle? Okay, and I guess the downside is I could have hit, um, I could have hit poorly there. Oh my god! Okay, I found all my luck for, like, the last two matches have had some pretty abysmal luck, and this has been kind of, kind of silly already, huh? Discard you, trash that. Um, okay, do I want, like, a relic, or do I want a werewolf? Um... 
I'm gonna take the... It's really unclear which one I want. I'm gonna take the Relic. Um, I'm gonna take a Werewolf now, since I hit 5-5. Five, five. I could also take, like, this... Maybe, um... I don't know. Like, Silver is worth two points right now. Werewolf or two-point Silver? Probably Werewolf. Hmm... Okay, so two-point Relic or two-point Werewolf. Both seem fine. Um, probably two-point... My deck's not probably able to support another... Well, I don't know. I can probably support another Werewolf as well. Uh, he might get around the Relic attack right here if he has his Jack. But I'm going to take a second... Well, he has two Jacks, though. I'm going to take a second Werewolf, I think. So if he drew a Jack... Um, okay, so the mill... Well, he might have solid jack, though, yeah. I don't think it's really worth building around, like, mill jack here. Like, I don't think it does enough for you to really justify it. Um, over just, like, more economy. There's some other stuff you could do, though. I mean, I'll just play the jack here. Um, I guess I discard you and see if I can hit six here, or seven. Like, like here I could take... I mean, I could take a mill, it's worth two, three points. A necromancer. Um, I don't think I think I want the points now. I want to stay up on these basilica. Maybe we'll take a mill for three points. Uh, poverty is possibly helpful, possibly not. We'll find out soon. Um, okay, so poverty is helpful. So far, my hexes have been uh, well, they've been a thing. Taking the Basilica points there. I don't think Village is all that great here. Um, I do wonder if I need to worry about these Basilica points. Because I could take an Estate for three points, which is like, I don't know, not super exciting. Um, but then again, like, I can, I don't know, three points is not nothing here. And plus it's like kind of like four points because if the Basilica point swings, it's a four point swing. Oh, shoot. I could Desperation. I don't like that idea at all. I could Desperation and buy a Jack. Is that a thing I could do? Um, I could also just buy an Estate or buy a Copper. I'll buy the Copper. I think it's... I mean, I think I'm breaking some rules by taking Copper for Basilica points, but I think on the board like this, it's not... It doesn't seem unreasonable to me on a board like this. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this Relic ever actually attacks him, um, or if my Werewolf ever actually attacks him, because so far, they've been friendly. <laughs> or, I guess Relic is never friendly, it's just, uh, negated. Um, Envious? Oh, really? That's super mean. I guess we keep that. Trash the estate. Alright, well, I'll take a silver, I guess. Attack for miserable. Uh, might be fine, actually. And discards as lost city might also be fine. So I think it's time to start provincing if I can. And I can, so I will. Um, I think I want to, like, liberally desperation for provinces as well. I don't think you were really, um... <sighs> yeah, I think just even taking a couple curses is probably not the worst. I mean, I'll try not to do it much, but... Oh, that's annoying. His relic hurts. That's rude. Um, like, do I even want... Like, it's a duchy time already? Um... It might be duchy time already. I think it is. Alright, well... Hopefully this werewolf doesn't draw things, draw my jack dead, because I want to play jack as much as possible. I still have a curse in my deck I wouldn't mind getting rid of. I guess that's the only other card that is junk right now, right? It's just the curse. Um, top deck's two coppers. That's really annoying. That's going to trigger this shuffle with all my stuff in it? Shoot. Um. Ah, crap. I think I, I, think I don't want to lose a relic and two silvers and a werewolf in this shuffle, right? So just do this. Um, I could Desperation for a province here. 
Or I could put like treasure in the shuffle. Let's put a gold in the shuffle. Um, greed is nice. All right, maybe this shuffle I should start desperationing. This duchy seems a little pre premature right now, actually. Ugh, this relic, it's killing me. I don't know, do I want a desperation? I, I really don't know, I don't know how this board works. It's completely unclear to me what the, uh, what the deal is on a board like this. I mean, a lot of silver. I'm just gonna desperation and take a province. I think I'm fine with that. All right, that Jack is gonna draw a card here, right? Man, my relic attack keeps getting negated over and over and it's very annoying. He's only got two of those things. It's not like he has a ton of them. All right, I'm gonna desperation for a province. Um, I think I, do I draw here? I have a Jack in those cards and a werewolf in those cards. So if I draw here, I will force a shuffle. I also have a curse in those cards. I might be able to trash a curse if I don't, but then I have to like desperation for a thing, which I really don't want to do. Like I'd really rather not desperation for a curse. He has no curses, right? Yeah, so he can't actually... Oh, come on! He's plagued me twice! That's garbage. Okay, I think I have to um, just take the duchy then here, right? Like, I can't province safely, so I'm just going to take the duchy. It's haunting, which, again, like, might just be negated. Um, he's winning this hex war, uh, like, a lot. My hexes have whiffed a lot, and his hexes have been brutal to me. Um, and my jack is on the bottom of my deck, so that's exciting. Alright, I mean, again, I can't province, so we're just gonna go ahead and duchy, and hex him. Fear, again, like, might do nothing. Alright, so I get to trash a curse here, which is actually quite, quite good. All right, so the haunting didn't get negated, and that also didn't get negated, and I get to negate his thing now. Um, that's nice, so we'll keep this there. We have to trash a curse and take a, another duchy. So we'll see if he breaks here, because I have a nice little... Uh, nice three-point lead going into, well, the end of this game. Yeah, so look, I'm just going to take this duchy and play the werewolf attack. Trash of the silver is quite good. Um, and now we just pray that he can't get two provinces. He didn't play a jack, which is a great sign. I mean, he has to take the province, right? All right, let's see if I find it. And I get to go desperation for a province. All right, well, I got pretty good draws early there, so I can't really complain about that. That was quite nice. Um, but again, it was like another like, weird board. Just like, that's like both boards now have been a little uh, money junky. Okay, do we find an engine finally? Well, there's no oh there's a plus buy, never mind. I found the charm. Uh yeah, we found we finally found an engine, so that's good to see. Um Bane is Coin of the Realm. That's an awkward Bane. Um Guardian makes me think Young Witch is not worth it. Um This looks like a lot like you want storytellers and charms. And that's mainly how you'll draw. Um, you can thin down with goat and I'll probably banish at some point. Banishing a bunch of coppers would be nice. Um, yeah, probably open like, I don't think I I think Guardian makes me skip Young Witch here, right? I think Guardian lets me skip Young Witch here. Um, so I'm just going to go to, I'm going go to I'm going to go to Hovel and then... I think it's like a silver pixie open, right? 
It feels like a silver pixie open to me. I don't know. I mean, Young Witch is not a bad open here just because it forces him to take Guardians, right? And, like, Guardian's not a good card in your deck. I would not mind forcing him to Guardian. Um, Young Witch doesn't do a whole lot long term, but I mean, I don't know. Silver is really good with Storyteller. I could open Young Witch Silver. I could open Young Witch Pixie. I could open Pixie Silver. <laughs> Um, I think those are the three I'm leaning towards right now. I'll take the Young Witch. I'm going to do it. I think it's worthwhile. Um, I don't know if I want the Pixie open or the Silver open, because I really want to hit five. But also, Pixie's really good. Um, Young Witch could draw Pixie dead, which would be a shame. I do have a Necropolis, which might possibly bail me out of that. Um, but, like, I don't mind Silver on this board because of Storyteller. Um, Silver is might be better with Banish. Because I'll be able to Banish an extra Copper if I have a Silver. Um, yeah, I just really don't know. I'm gonna hit the I'm gonna hit the silver. That's my plan. Alright, if this young witch draws the silver, it will have worked. Alright, and I do get to curse him. Oh, um Yeah, I'll kill the overgrown estate, seems fine. Just don't draw a necropolis. Oh, he draws a silver, that's quite good. Um do you want a charm? For a storyteller. I think the charm first, I think. I want the plus buy. Um, there's no actions down there, right? Alright, so he will, in fact, get a curse in my deck, which is, well, not unexpected. But it would be nice to avoid that particular fate. So far, he's... Um, okay, so this will just toss those two. Did he shuffle? Eh, he probably doesn't. Like, it's unlikely he has the Young Witch again, right? So probably better to try to get the Young Witch again next turn and not this turn. So I'll take a Pixie now, maybe. Then again, I could just... I mean, I could Guardian anyway. Just to have it. Um... I could take a Coin of the Realm. Nah, screw that. Like, he... He, uh... He, like, barely shuffled, right? I got the turn three and four Young Witches, so that's really good for me. I'm going to take the Guardian now. I don't, like, care that much about the other options, so whatever. I don't think I want this Necropolis. Like, this Necropolis doesn't seem like it does anything to me, right? Ooh, that's a good boon. I kind of want that one. He does get the Trash of Curse as well. Yeah, I'm going to kill the Necropolis. I don't think I need it. So no Young Witch this turn. Um, I should probably take a Guardian here, then. Can I take Guardian... How much money do I have? Uh, I can take, like, a Guardian Storyteller. Sounds pretty good, actually. I guess Guardian is not terrible with Storytellers, because it's kind of like Caravan. It's like a slightly worse Caravan. Um, yeah, end action. We're just gonna kill this Necropolis. I don't think I care. Um, do I want two fire? I want the Guardian. He's gonna curse me this turn, almost certainly. So we'll take a Storyteller Guardian. Miss my Young Witch, which I guess after taking it two turns in a row, well, I guess it's only only right that I miss it once in a while. Um, and there's no real threat of him cursing me this turn. Well, no huge threat at least. Um, like I could banish two copper. Like, do I want to banish two copper? Probably not. Can I take another storyteller? All right, and with any luck, he doesn't uh, draw into the young witch somehow. I guess the pixie was the only way that would happen. All right, storyteller, that. Young witch tosses... Um, I'll toss a Guardian. I don't want to play two Guardians here, right? I'll just do this. Buy in two coins. Looks like Pixie Pixie. 
All right, this looks much better this turn. Um, so I have the two storytellers, I have the charm. Um, we're about equal in thinning slash junking, so I feel in like decent shape here. Um, oh, well, no, he's catching up now. Uh, put the pixie first. Oh, um, wisps. Do we even want wisps? Um, at this point, do whips, wisps do enough at this point? I don't think they do. I'm gonna keep it. Um, see, this is an interesting dilemma. Because there's another pixie down there, but I don't want to overdraw my deck. Let's just play two. Okay, found the pixie. Um, interesting. I don't think I want to do that, though. Eh, I mean, I could trust these two. One, two, it's only three, four if I do that, but maybe it's fine. All right, I get to trash you, you. And buy two coins for maybe two more pixies. Hopefully I can get, like, a decent boon here. Um, did I curse him? Yeah, I did. He gets the guardian down this turn. Fine. Um, shoot. Uh, I keep it. Um, I mean, does that actually do that? Because I'm going to draw a storyteller. Um, yeah, it's probably fine. Um, try. Nah, keep it. Draw all that. Pixie, plus a card. No, thank you. Um, uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter. If, no, I should probably play Young Witch right now, right? Yeah. Toss those two. One, two, three. There's five. I have to trash a copper. Charm to gain a card. So this will be Charm Storyteller. And buys. Oh, no storyteller. You know, guardian. Well, that's a little, uh, little annoying, but not the worst thing in the world. He might get a curse on on me, but I don't think I'm. Well, oh, I can't get the trash in if I want to take a charm storyteller again either. Well, do I care about that? I think charm storyteller is probably worth uh, not trashing a copper. Oh, no, I can still do it, because I have a Guardian play. That's fine. Trash you. Um, I could also gain a Guardian, but I don't... Why would I do that? Nah, I can see in the card. Let's do Charm Storyteller. Let's just keep him coming. He might... He'll probably get a curse on me, but it's fine. Um, with any luck, I can just trash it, and it won't be the biggest deal in the world. Yeah, I'm a little hesitant to trash Pixies too readily, just because they are going to be worth some points here. Uh, no, keep that. Storyteller, you, you, charm. We'll take the draw right now. You, no thank you. You, um, nah. Shoot, Storyteller. Let's just play the Copper and No Treasures. Shoot! Storyteller, play the charm for draw. Do not play that. Um, young Witch gets to toss those two. You, you, trash you. Charm for, I mean, the buy, obviously. Take another charm, maybe? I think gold. Gold's pretty good, too, here. I'm gonna get gold. I don't want to, I mean, I want to play these charms for gains whenever I can. Like, do I, maybe I just don't play this charm right now, right? And just let it sit for a second. I think Flames Gifts is probably pretty good. Um, storyteller. I think I just draw the five and leave the charm alone. Uh, no thank you. Uh, 
Um, at this point, I think it's a no thank you. Let's no treasure this and just draw three. Ooh, that might be worthwhile. That seems worth it, right? Um... Well, I want to get back around to those silvers, but I can't really do that very well. Let's not play it. Oh, I have this one, okay. Never mind, I could have gotten back around to it. Um, so Storyteller on the Copper to draw two. I get to play the Young Witch to toss my Goat Silver is fine. Uh, gain a card, gain a card gain a card. Do I want... Um, do I want a charm and three storytellers, or do I want a storyteller and three charms? Probably the storyteller and charm, charm, charm. Um... And now I have enough to... Yeah, I don't think the Pixies are worth a, losing a point right there, right? All right, so I should just... I might be able to win here, right? Winning right now is not unreasonable. So, Pixie... Um... No, no thank you. Storyteller... I do want to draw... Uh, I want to avoid drawing too much here. Let's just not play the charm yet. I three charms. I have six charms, right? I only need I don't need to play all these for the gains. Uh, I need to play Young Witch here. Let's card those two. Um, that's not that's not to win, is it? <laughs> Four, nope. I'm short. Five, six. Just short. Like, what's he gonna do on his turn? Um, I have six. I have eight. One, two, three. Hmm. It's kind of an interesting conundrum. I could gain like three store. I could gain like charm. I'm one dollar short of winning, right? I'm like one short. Yeah, I'm a dollar short. Um, I could gain like a charm and three storytellers, right? Can he do anything against that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's ten points. Um, one, two. I have six of those. Be seven. So that scores, like, that much. He scores, let me see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that would give me a net points. That would give me six net points. And if he were to take the charm, um, that would get him... What, I'd have eight to his two, so I gave him six points. Right, so it's eight to two both ways, which is a 12-point difference. I take a duchy... Um, I take a duchy, that's a 15 points. How does he score 15 points and take a charm? There's no, oh, sorry, um, wait, no, hold on, I can take curses, right? I take a buy and two coins. No, it's short also, I'm short both ways. I mean, you take curses, but you don't score any points. I think this is safe. I mean, if you want to, uh... I don't think there's any way you can score that much, right? <clears throat> Alright, well, you lost point to do that, so let's see if it's worth it. I 
mean, I guess he could take curses, but he still needs to figure out a way to score. Um, because the curses don't leave negative points, but he still needs to figure out a way to score, like eleven points. I don't think he, he doesn't. Think, no, he has no. He has no buys for that either, right? He has literally doesn't have enough gains for that. So I think it's fine. I can just take this cur this charm here and win. This charm is worth. I said six points, right? It'll put me at 19. Well, no, it'll put me at... It'll put me at... I have 8 charms, but the relative 6 points. So put me at 21, then him at 4. Another turn where I didn't draw a Storyteller, which is a little, a little awkward. I mean, you can do, like, Province Duchy if he wants, but that's not enough to do anything against me just taking a charm. All right, that, um, again, I drew pretty well that game. I had one dud turn in there, but, um, didn't end up costing me that much, so that was good. All right, that's 3-0. That's, uh, it's a nice, nice position to be in, for sure. Uh, that was my first player, yeah. All right, this looks like Catapult. Why is Catapult not on my disc, on my ban list? All right, because there's not enough cards on ban list for Catapult. What does he have? He has Donate on there, huh? Interesting. Um, Shepard. You've banned Shepard. Um, I can see the argument for banning Shepard. It is a little swingy. I kind of like, I like it as card, though. We've both disliked Cultist and Keep. Um, I mean, it's gotta be a... Excuse me. There's no, uh, there's no actions. It's, this is just like another j really, really junky game, right? This feels like just another really junky game. I mean, what do you do? You can't do anything. You just play with, like, catapult money. <laughs> I guess, what does capitalism do here? Hagler? Mm. Alright, forager, catapult, haggler are all treasures. So you play with what, like, Falconer? You play with Falconer and all the dual types, and you gain what, like, a bunch of, I don't know, it doesn't do anything. Maybe Hunting Grounds? What about Hunting Grounds? Hunting Grounds money, but money includes things like Haggler and Catapults. Um, that gives you a little endgame control, too, with, like, trashing cat uh, Hunting Grounds with Catapults and things. That, that's probably the thing to do here. I will open Catapult regardless. Like, that's an obvious thing. Um... Like, double Catapult is actually kind of tempting. Um, catapult Silver is fine. Um, I'm not really going to rush to hit high price points, right? It's like, I could just do double Catapult and probably be okay about it. Alright, Necropolis gets to trash you. Um... Could have discarded. I mean, I don't want to. He like he probably doesn't like he had the five coin hand that time, right? So discard making discard probably not the hugest deal in the world at that particular junction. He's at five, which is really nice. Uh, I don't know if Hagler's all that great though. Like it's kind of whatever ish. Um, if he hits another five and hits like catapult or hits like tech capitalism, right? Like that would be the thing. Oh, like so here I'll definitely make him discard. Um, like, there's no way. I need to hit five, or can hit five, I should say. Uh, I'm gonna make you discard, and I'll take the silver here. Oh, that's weird. Um, I think I capitalism here, right? Because I'm pretty likely to. Yeah, I'm probably gonna hit both my um, catapults next turn, so I will capitalism. All right, I do not hit both catapults, which is kind of sad. I wanted to hit both of them. Do I keep this necropolis around? I mean, obviously, like, trash hovel over it. I probably want to just keep making discard if I can. I want to hit five for a haggler. For sure. Um, hits. Some stuff here. I don't think canal is probably very good here. I'm just going to try to hit 5 for Hagler, 
um, or six for hunting grounds. Gold is not super exciting to me, I don't think. I mean, like, do I... I need to just attack him. I, get, I don't want more silver, right? It doesn't really do much for me. Um, I don't think that does anything either. All right, let's just keep attacking. I'll take a, another silver here. I could take, like, a skulk. Do I want a gold? Not really. All right, if he doesn't attack me here, um, I'd probably take the Haggler. Doesn't attack me. I could take a hunting grounds now. I'd probably take a Haggler now. I'd rather just, like, attack him as much as possible. Keep that keep that discard attack going. It's, it's really brutal. Uh, if he doesn't attack me here, I will take a hunting grounds very, very readily. Um, without question, this hunting grounds looks pretty good right now. Yeah, I think the gold, his gold, I think, was a big mistake. I think he wanted, like, Hunting Grounds Haggler there. Um, or possibly, I don't know. But I don't, I don't think it was all that exciting. Oh, this is, um, this is too much stuff. This is one of those too much stuff hands. Um, I might as well just discard those. Um, I'm just gonna trash the copper and buy silver. I don't want, like, an extra free card, right? So that's fine. Um, I don't think the Skulk is all that great either. I don't think it's really doing much. I don't think I want a third Catapult. I'll just take Silvers. Like, eventually I'm just gonna start killing Silvers. Alright, that's gotta be like a Hunting Grounds here, right? It's gotta be Hunting Grounds. What else could you take? There you go, alright. Um... Like, this is an interesting question. I think I really do want another Hunting Grounds, though, so I'm going to trash you for a Hunting Grounds Haggler. Um, where's my Hunting Grounds? Ah, these draws are not good. These draws are really bad. Um, is it time to start... I think it's time to start killing some silver. Mm, do I want a Forager, like, just for a plus buy? I guess I do, right? Like, I'm going to want to plus buy in this deck at some point. So I think Forager's fine. Alright, there's a Hunting Grounds Mr. Shuffle, which is quite sad. Missing Shuffles, missing, missing Shuffles. Um, Alright, he's going to go ahead and not trigger his catapult. Um, I think that's a mistake. I think you want to attack, on a board like this, I think you just want to attack constantly. Hunting grounds, good, 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 good. Um, I get to catapult this silver. Very good turn. Very, very, very good. Forge this copper, play a couple haggles. Um, 11 looks a lot like... Do I have province already? I don't really province. Do I want a third hunting grounds? It's too early for a third hunting grounds. I could do a province and two hagglers. And then that's it. Oh, look at that! That's a, that's a fancy draw. Um, play the hunting grounds, play the other hunting grounds. So here we get to forage a copper. We get to catapult a silver. We get to catapult another silver. We get to play four haggles. Um, so this will be... What? Should be province, I think. Um, I want one more hunting grounds. I guess gold. And do I want more stuff? Mm, I don't know if I 
even want any of this stuff. I could take a skulk and a bunch of what? Silvers? It could be fine. Well, I need like to feed my catapults more silver. I don't really have more silver. Um, I could take a skulk and three. That's oh, four silver. So many silvers. I don't think I want to do that. It's gonna end buys. All right, his deck is much junkier than mine. He's got curses. I don't. Um, he still has copper left too, which is good to see. My draws have been quite good, I have to say. Um, Hagler, Hagler. Should I cat this Forager? I don't want to cat the Forager. Should I cat the Hagler? I could cat the Hagler. Well, if I'm not, I'm not gonna make use of the plus buy is the problem. Um, no, I want to keep that around. I'm gonna catapult the Hagler and forage, like, forage a gold? Shoot. Um... No, I want to keep the Hagler around. I'm going to catapult to gold. Um... I'm just gonna play the Hagler and buy a province, I think. Province, I got, how many Hagglers? Three? One, one more hunting grounds. Um, one more gold. And one more forager. All right, he makes me discard, finally. Um, I guess I'll discard Hunting Grounds and a Hagler. I think it's important to play the Catapult this turn if I can. Uh, piles are very, very low. So I'm able to win this turn if I just draw unreasonably well. Uh, I'm not, I mean, it doesn't really matter if I win this turn or not. I don't think I'm in much danger of losing. So like, Catapult. I guess the catapult? Um, I didn't really draw very well there, huh? Well, I'll just take a duchy, maybe. It's fine. Duchy's fine. I, guess I could have killed, like, gold and necropolis, and... Save my catapult. I'm gonna toss you and I want to keep the forager around. I think because that's like the way I just win this turn is by playing the forager on something. I could have gotten a, I could have gotten a crypt earlier too. Crypt is definitely solid here. Um. All right, so we get to forage. Is this a win? This looks like a win, right? Trash a hunting grounds for gain three estates. Forge a hunting grounds for three estates. Play a haggler. 13 here on, um, on, um, uh, you gain you, you gain you. Okay. And the province. Oh, sorry, it's getting crap. All right, GG. This has gone well so far. Definitely had some pretty good draws throughout, so I'm not complaining about my luck here. Definitely had some good draws. Um, we played a lot of kind of interesting boards, actually. Seize the Day. Hopefully I've learned how to play Seize the Day since the last time I played it and just botched it against Dan Brooks. Um, what is this board? There's no trashing, huh? This is another, this is like another gross board. All right. It looks like gear, gear money-ish maybe. Um, 
I'm gonna take the gear open, I think. I don't think any of those fogs are worth a desperation. Like, taking a curse to gain a coven does not sound all that exciting to me. Um, I'm tempted by a groom open, but I'm also tempted by a potion open. Um, the problem with groom is it doesn't... Well, groom or potion don't really hit me. Five. I don't know. I don't think I'm like in a rush hit coven, right? I'll probably want a coven at some point, but... Like, if I miss it turn three, four, I think I'll be... I'll live with it. Um... I think I'll take a groom. I'll take I'll take the gear groom open. Oh, it's groom for islands. Mm. Groom for the island. Three on a second gear, maybe. It's a lot of action. Let's have a second gear. It's probably fine. Like this gear, yeah. This gear triggers a shuffle, so it's not that big a deal. Um, I will need a way to play like the island at some point. Don't want a second. I mean, a second groom is probably fine too. Um, I could set aside two of these things and pick up another groom. And like here, I might save like the horse. Um, or an island a thing. Like, what if I just played the horse? What's down there? Eh. What did I play last turn? Four, five, six. There's a copper down there. I'll have three coins if I do it like this. What if I just, like, island the... Play the horse. Island an estate. And buy a, uh... Buy a hamlet. I don't know if that does anything, but maybe it's fine. Hmm. I mean, with any luck, I can take... I mean, I don't want to lose the island split, but it's probably not the biggest deal in the world. Um, but he has to shuffle his deck right now with... It'd be really weird if I lost the island split here, right? It'd be quite weird if I lost the island split. Um, I mean, it could happen, but going first on the board like this, I don't think it's that big. Like, island split's not like a huge thing here, I don't think. Well, he has the island of copper, which is better for me because that's uh, I got the island of the estate. Hamlet. All right, so like. Wait, why did I do that? That was so dumb. Why did I just... I, oh, no, no, no. I wanted to... No, oh, no. I meant to play the groom. Ah, crap. I wanted to play the groom first. Well. Eh. All right. Set those aside. And I'm going to pick up a coven now, I think. I really I really meant to play the groom first. That was... <laughs> my bad. That was, that was pretty terrible. All right. Cool. I get the groom in island now. Play a coven. Um, like, do I play the island here, or do I just pick up, like... He has a lot of grooms, jeez. Is he doing, like, the full rush here? Do I need to worry about the full rush? I don't feel like I need to worry about the full rush here. Like, with the estates and everything? I don't, like, I don't think that's too concerning. Um, I could, like, seize the day right now. No, I want to. I want to wait. Seize the day for like a pile out if I can. Um, do I want to like get rid of this estate right now, or do I want to play this gear? I'll play the island. Ah, uh, nah. Screw play, play you. Okay. Well, those are both my states, but it's fine. Whatever. Five here on a second coven. Maybe I'll just island an island. Um, I'm not like in the biggest rush in the world. I mean, like, Thing Coppers, I, mean, I don't know. Like, Thing Islands is probably better if you have a chance to do it than nothing. But maybe it's not. I don't know. We'll see what I draw here off this horse. Um, probably nothing useful. Like, uh, another Groom down there, which is... The Grooms now are kind of rough. Like, I don't want to gain estates. 
Unless you're going for the rush, but I don't think the rush is good enough here. Well, he's going for it. We'll see if it works. Um, I don't feel like I need to play the rush, right? Well, let me think. He can get the grooms pretty pretty easily. Um, I don't know. The the seize the day makes the rush a little more interesting. Like, I could try matching on the rush. Like, I might be able to do that still. Play the horse first. Um, do I want to play this horse? Probably. Right, I want to trigger this shuffle without, like, three islands in it. That's probably fine. All right. So, like, if I do the rushy thing here, the problem is he has a lot more grooms than I do. But I'm not... I hit the estate, what happens? Nothing? Like, I'll get a couple points off estates. I need to worry about seize the day at some point. Um, I'm not really into the, the estate rush here. Ugh, this is not my favorite turn ever, is it? Mmm. I mean, it's an option right now. I have both my grooms in hand. All right, it's now or never on this, on this stupid rush plan, right? It is now or never on the rush. It's only six points, right? Like I can make, I can get six points pretty easily, can't I? All right, let's discard the island for an action. We're gonna groom for a hamlet, and I could island an island right now. That'd be better. Let me island an island. Um. And with four here on a, I don't know, like another Hamlet, another gear. Um, I kind of want this, I, like, I really regret not having a potion in my deck right now, but I think it's too late, right? It feels too late to get the potion in my deck. Although I really would have liked to have Apothecaries at this point in the game. <laughs> so that might've been just a misplay, not sort of anticipating that I wanted the potion earlier. Um, it's like a guide or something, it's fine. Possibly silver was fine too. I do need the economy because like one province is kind of what I need to hit here. I don't know. The seize the day does make the rush really scary to me, so maybe I should try getting to points sooner rather than later. Seize the day makes the rush quite scary. What, do we not want to play the... Mm, no problem. Wait, he just undid the... What did he just undo? He just undid the groom play to play groom? Ah, whatever, it's fine. Alright, uh, five here. Like, do I want... Like, I don't know. I don't really want a duchy here, right? <laughs> I still decide like two copies and co uh, coppers and buy silver. That would be fine. Like I don't think he can win with the seize of the day here. He might need like an extra turn or something. These covens are not looking very impressive, are they? No, they are not. <laughs> These covens are not looking impressive. He might be able to win with it with a seize of the day and a good draw, right? I guess it's possible. Maybe I should have taken a uh, Dutch doesn't do enough. <laughs> yeah, it's possible he wins here. We'll find out. It doesn't seem likely, but I guess, you know, we'll see. Actually, no, it's not possible, is it? Well, technically it's possible. Um, technically. I need to score here, right? Uh, yes, I need to score here pretty bad. Man, this Coven is so unimpre unimpressive. I don't know why I got it. I always overestimate Coven, I think. It's like a very unimpressive card right now. I mean, I, 
have to score here, and I probably have to seize the day here, right? Well, maybe. I could win, actually. Right? With a seize the day, if I draw right? It's not impossible. I'm not sure it's very likely. I only have two grooms. So we need to get two grooms, three estates, and it would take a seize the day um, with, like, not very much in my deck. Well, that makes it easier, then. Sure. Um, so, like, if I'm going to go for it, I could do, like, seize estate right now. No, I think I'm just going to take the province here. Oh, man. That's really, um... That's, uh... Shoot. Like, if I province and give him a curse, I give myself a curse, I score six, it puts me at 17 points, and I went first. Hmm. Interesting. Seventeen points, and I went first. So he would tie me on a f of estate, estate, groom, groom. Which... It's not that hard for him to get, I don't think. Well, he can't desperation if he does it like that. And he can't score other... Like, those two points he can't score any more than on. Um... So he would need, I mean, like, it's kind of inviting a tie a little bit, but, like, I don't think, like, what happens if I, I think I have to just um, invite the tie, right? Like, if you have the tie, you have the tie. It's fine. Um, and if you don't win here, you probably don't win. I mean, he might. I mean, technically, it's not impossible to win. Like, you can Desperation for a Duchy or something. That would score points. Um, um, okay, that's a good sign. That's a very good sign right there. Uh, that means it's impossible for him to win, right? He could still technically tie, but he can't win now. Um, well, Mm, I don't think he can make use of the plus buy very well, because he needs to do... If he gets a Hamlet... No, I don't think he, like... I don't think there's enough cards that even theoretically draw into, like, a hand where you can get a Groom and then, like, Desperation for a Duchy. Because um, one of his Groom plays would have to be to play a Groom. I mean, he has to seize the day here, right? Like, there's no way he can't just go for it, I don't think. This was ended up a lot closer than I thought, and I don't think the rush should win very often, so I'm pretty sure I'm just playing badly. Um, he's in desperation for a... For a what? For a duchy? That's not... I don't think that's doing a whole lot, right? Um, I get to play the coven. Um, like, do I just groom for an estate right now? Ah, shoot. I don't have a win in hand. It's just close, though. I think I just groom for the estate, right? I just think room for the estate. I don't think he can do anything against that. And I'll just buy a duchy? Um, or I seize the day. Um, I should probably just seize the day right here and hope I can find... Well, I don't know. What do I need to win? Two grooms? Um, I always have desperation in my back pocket. Yeah, I'm going to seize the day right now. Um, do I want to guide this? No. No, I do not. And that looks like a win, right? Um, it's just two grooms, right? Wins? Yeah, I'm, I'm ahead on points? Okay, cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, things are going really well for me today. I have to say. My draws have been... Overall, I would say quite good, um, which is a nice change of pace for me sometimes. All right, that's the last game, huh? 
It's another game with no... Ugh, it's like another crappy board. Can I have a... I just want, like, one board that's not really junky. Um... Alright, what's... What are my dual types? Uh, it's a triple type for... Courtier hit Bridge Troll. Like, it's really hard to, um... It's really hard to do anything here. I guess like ta like your only village is Royal Carriage Courtier. That's not very good. I guess there's a lot of. Tr I mean, thinning down is pretty easy. Well, not easy, easy, but monastery is good enough for thinning. Um, the upside of playing several bridge trolls is pretty high. Um. Yeah, I don't know. This is. There's also colonies, which for more time. Like, I think you have to play with, with the engine here. It's just really, really awkward. Super duper awkward. Um, hmm. I think I want to open, like, Messenger for the Silver and pick a Monastery or something. Or just, I don't, I don't know. I don't, no, I don't, I don't have enough terminal space for Messenger, right? That's a terrible idea. That sounds terrible. Um... I think I want the silver open. Silver Monastery is like a really crappy open, isn't it? It's a terrible open. I guess with Messenger, you can maybe get an extra trash in. Sure. Silver Monastery. What a bad open. Uh, I tipped my hand. I played four coppers for some reason. That's just, that's very poor form. Gotta conceal, conceal that info. Conceal, don't feel. Hmm. That is nice. I don't need to buy a monastery now. Uh, I will take a second silver. Six? That's um more money than I was hoping for, actually. Do I open? I think I take a bridge troll now, right? I think a bridge troll first. Sure. Why is it asking me for changeling there? Oh, I didn't hit four. That's a shame. I wanted to hit four. Exchanges aren't gains, right? Um, when you gain a card, you exchange it. Yeah, so, like, you can't exchange into a changing and trash two cards, right? Like, I'm almost positive you can't. Because that would be sweet. Do I want another silver? Like, I'm not convinced I want a silver. I might actually just take a changeling here. Um, let's take a changeling. Alright, if I can just collide changeling and bridge troll, that would be swell. I don't want more silver. Silver's garbage. Do I want talisman? I probably want talisman, though. Talisman seems pretty good here. Alright, just collide that bridge troll and that changeling. Um, I'm not sure Journeyman's doing a whole lot, to be honest. Um, I mean, draw's good, right? But I don't think you're doing a whole lot with draw at the current moment in time. Okay, well, good news, bad news. Um, good news is Bridge Troll collides with Changeling. Bad news is it misses a shuffle. This should be another Bridge Troll right now, right? Um, alright, this is fine. I can get to grab, like, do I want another Changeling right now? I really just want my Talisman. Actually, it's impossible that my Talisman... It's impossible I don't get to play a Talisman with a Bridge Troll and play this Shuffle. But I might miss four, which would be unfortunate. Or a Changeling, it's fine. I think a Bridge Troll is fine. Okay, so Talisman next Shuffle. Um, it's another weird turn where I can't do a whole lot, unfortunately. I need Draw now. Well, I, don't, I can't draw things, though. I need Courtiers, which means I need Courtiers. Oh my god, this engine is terrible. Do I want, like, another... I don't know. Do I want, like, a second Monastery? I could do, like, Talisman Monastery right now. That's probably fine. I don't think I want a third Monastery, though, right? That's, like, too many Monasteries? That sounds like too many Monasteries. Alright, there's my Talisman. I will get two Royal Carriages right here. Um... Unfortunately, I can't... Ugh, I keep, like, coming up just short of where I want to be on some of these turns. I mean, this money distribution could be better, right? Because I don't need this much coinage right this turn, unfortunately. 
Um, like seven, I think like eight here would be fantastic, right? Or, you know, I mean, taking two of these, obviously. Do I want two more changelings? Like, it's so hard to draw with like a billion changelings on my deck, unfortunately. If I just draw them at the wrong time, it's terrible, but if I draw them at the right time, it's nice. They don't help with carriages, though, unless I call the carriage. I don't, I think I may just pass here. I'm gonna pass here, I don't want any of that crap. Get out of here. Ew, what is this? Oh no! What? Okay, well, so sometimes this happens, right? Um, this is a... What? Can I do anything with this turn? I guess I'd rather have... A second talisman and trash a copper? It's just... That's a really rough... That's a really rough turn. I mean, I could, um... I could also take the changeling back. And still trash a copper? Do I, want, I don't want too many more change. Like, no, no, one is enough. All right, let's do this. Yeah, that, that was a garbage. That was a garbage, garbage, garbage turn. Garbage, garbage, garbage. All right. Bridge troll. I mean, I don't really want to... I mean, there's no reason... No. It doesn't do a whole lot right now. I'm just drawing... I guess it doesn't. I guess what I'm doing is not very good, right? What does this even do to call relic carriage? Like nothing, right? I don't want any of this. I don't want any of these cards. <laughs> I really just don't want any of those cards. Okay. I need like some courtiers. I need some journeymen. I just need a lot of stuff. I need a billion things in this deck. <laughs> I don't know what it's. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with this board. I don't. I think I'm doing it badly though. <laughs> Whatever it is. Whatever I'm doing has been awful. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, I don't think. I I don't yeah I don't see like the um the appeal really of calling carriage here, right? I call carriage and then what? Nothing. He's got a plus buy and I do nothing with it. Yeah, let's just keep the carriage in my in my mat. Um, is it courtier time? Is it more carriage time? I have no idea. More, like, carriages don't do anything until I'm drawing, but I need... I, here's the problem. I need to make this engine out of, like, six different pieces that do very little by themselves. All right, I'll take a courtier now. Uh, I don't want more of those pieces of crap. Okay, finally. Finally. Now we're talking. This is such a... I don't know. I, I, I mean... Straight money might just be better than what I'm doing. <laughs> um, it might be. I think the fact that callings exist maybe give me enough time to make it a real a real engine. But it's turn 13. My deck hasn't done anything. There's no way this is good, right? It feels like there's no way this is good. All right. I don't see any reason to call the carriage there. All right. Take some royal carriages. I would love to get like a little bit more than that. Um, on a turn, but whatever you can do. Alright, well, these monasteries are just doing nothing, huh? Alright, this is the last carriage, which I... I lost the carriage split, which is not what I was hoping for, to be honest. Maybe I need to reevaluate my life choices. Nah, screw it. Courtiers and bridge trolls is, are gonna win the day here, I can feel it. Uh, reveal the bridge troll. For action by coins. Um, that's three, four. I don't want two bridge trolls here, though, do I? I mean, I could do... I could take... Oh, uh, I could call this twice. I don't think it just does anything. What does it do to have this right now? Oh, I guess I can trash an extra card if I do it. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it does anything. Do I want gold? I could just, like, flood my deck with gold also. Um, does that do anything to flood my deck with gold? I don't think so. Okay. Well. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I honestly do not know what I'm doing here. It's, it is a disaster. This is all, I don't know how to proceed from here. I feel like, um, three, four. Oh, no, no, hard. One, one more does it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do it like this. Um. That's fine. Just leave that there. Do not call the royal carriage now. 
Uh, I want bridge troll courtier uh, and buys monastery. I don't need two monasteries now. That monastery did nothing for me exactly, huh? Okay, so again, like I'm not drawing, but it's not exactly surprising. Well, no, this is fine. This turn's fine. Do I want like two more bridge trolls? Sure, why not? I don't know what I'm doing. It's it is it is exciting though. I'm excited to find out where this where this whole uh, this whole crazy story ends. I don't have enough carriages to really support what I'm trying to do though. Is kind of the problem right now. But maybe it's still good enough. It's turn sixteen. <laughs> my deck hasn't done anything. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. This is so so bad. What a bad board. All right, somebody. I got. I got. I got watchers now. Somebody needs to tell me how you're supposed to play this board because this is. This has been. Uh, this has been hysterical, to me. I don't know. It all feels like. It all feels like madness. Like, what am I buying here? Another courtier? I do need... I need to trash. I need to draw. I can't do any of these things, though, because I don't have the components I need to do these things. All right, reveal the bridge troll. I don't want gold. Three, four, five, six. I could call the royal carriage now and pick up an extra... Call. I don't think I want to kill it now, though. Um, I do just want to grab, like, uh, another courier. Oh, no! Disaster has struck! This is, this is the nightmare draw. I found the nightmare draw. Oh, man. This is the nightmare draw. All right, well, what are you going to do? Do I want a journeyman? The problem is I can't, like, I don't have the terminal space. My only plus buy is playing Roller Carriage on Courtier, which is very inconsistent. And this is very sad. I drew things in the wrong order. Um, but I mean, I'm just gonna play a Bridge Troll here and pass the turn. I think <laughs> that's how that's how terrible everything is here. He's just gonna keep scoring. Yeah, like whatever he's doing is probably I don't know. I mean, what he's doing can't be that good either, just because it's turn 17 and he hasn't done it much either. So you know, there's that. Um, one more bridge troll. Oh, where's my, where's my stuff? Where's my stuffs? All right, I'll take two more courtiers here, I guess. This board have tower? Somebody tell me this board has tower. That would make things a lot, make, it would make a lot more sense if this board had tower. Okay, so, like, she undo. Can I undo the talisman play? Like, do I even want, what am I doing with this? I guess I just... Well, I guess I should play it, right? I play you too. Sure, I'll play you too. I'll gain a couple changelings. And I'll just trash the, the copper, I guess. <laughs> Is that good or bad? Probably bad. All right, there's the rest of my cards that... Yeah, this shuffle was not very good. It could have been a lot better. Um, but there's a lot about this game that could have been better. Um, starting with... Uh, literally every decision I've made, so... Eh, what are you gonna do? It's not over yet, though. Piles are really low, but he doesn't have any pile control. But he does have a substantial point lead, so, uh... That's a little dicey, right? Uh, action by coins. To play the bridge troll. Nah, I get to play you and pick up two courtiers. All right. Things are, things are coming together. Can I just, like, collide some bridges? I still haven't gotten more than two bridges in play, which seems kind of ridiculous to me, to be honest. At some point, I kind of expected to get more than one bridge in play. But I guess that happens when you draw things in bad orders. Do I, do I just keep my roll of carriages on the mat until I can actually play more than one bridge troll? How many bridge trolls can I actually get in play? Not enough to score 24 points, right? I need a fleet. I need to get a fleet. If I can end the game the same time I get a fleet and get enough points and have enough bridge trolls, like there's there are outs here still, but it's still pretty dicey. Uh, there, it's definitely dicey. We are in dicey land. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. This is all this is all lunacy.
Um, yeah, I'm gonna just keep doing what I'm doing and hoping hoping it comes together before like turn 50. Um, buy action coins, cool. Uh, I don't really want to tempt this particular fate right now, right? Five on. I mean, I could take a fleet at some point. Someone I do need a fleet. I'm gonna take a fleet now. It's fine. Oh, we finally hit the jackpot. All right. We have finally hit the jackpot. Um. Okay, can I win now? <laughs> let's see if I can win now. Let's let's consider what happens if I end the game. Um. Well, I don't want to spend five buys. No, because mm, bridge tools will be too cheap, so I can't do any changeling tricks to get more of them. All right, action by coin. We will call a carriage. Uh, we'll call another carriage. Okay. Um. I mean, I don't think I want to call carriage here, right? Uh, let me consider some options. I need talismans. If I have talismans, I can do things a little better. 12. So I have 9. Uh, what am I, what's my buy situation? I have 9. I could have 10 buys if I wanted them. Um, 10 buys. And I could buy out the duchies and the bridge trolls. What's 3 times... Eight is 24? Is buying up the duchies and the bridge trolls like a reasonable play? Huh. I'm not sure I have 11 buys. I have 11 buys. Interesting. And everything's going to cost another three less, so it'll cost four for the provinces. Buying up the duchies will cost me eight. 12 gets me... Okay, that actually gets me a province, eight duchies, and two bridge trolls. Um, sorry, no, I need more money. I need to call the carriage on the courtier, right, to do that. So the only, the only reason you want to play, I, I was thinking about calling carriage on bridge troll instead of, of courtier here is because I get an extra buy next turn. Um, I need, all right, let's say I want to go province, eight duchies, and two bridge trolls, right? Just for sake of argument. That is, um... That is 8, 9, 10, 11 buys. I have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 buys. That would cost me 8, um, 12, 13, 14. All right, let me call a carriage here for this. Um, and I don't need any more money. So, well, I guess if I, no, another free money gets me a colony, right? So which sounds better? Okay. So that's going to be... Um, one, two, uh, 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 Changeling, just kidding. All right, well, let's see if you can outscore that. <laughs> we'll find out now. Uh, that's not a good start for outscoring that. Oh, sorry, no, he has the carriage. That's probably still not, he might, well, he might get a colony here, which is just not enough. That's a lot of carriages, wow. He, had the, he was like saving those things up, huh? <laughs> well, you can have your colony. He just does nothing. All right, I can just end actions here. Well, that was a very, very weird board. Super duper weird. All right, GG. Uh, but I think uh, I'm not going to complain about the result there. Uh, it definitely... Uh, Uh, anyway, that's going to be it for this match. I will catch you next time.